Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. In this video, we're going to continue with our lyrics game. In the previous videos, we've used this media, we've used these songs, my document here with the song name, the website video, and the lyrics. And you can see we designed it. This is what our home screen looks like. This is what our game looks like. On day one, I also gave you my code, the code solution. On day two, I had you follow my video. Um, if you could not complete day one, which was looking at the pictures to kind of make it on your own. Since you have a lot of experience this year in AP Computer Science Principles, we've made a bunch of different apps. You should be able to use these two pictures. But if you didn't, here's the video that I showed you how to actually design this app. Now, in the previous video, we've been working on building out the code. So again, I've given you the code. And this is the complete solution. I gave you this on day two in class. I said, you can go ahead. And we've coded a lot of stuff this year as well. So you should be able to build this out without the help of a video because we've built a lot of apps this year. But I am going through how to build it in a tutorial video for those that might have struggled with any portions of this code. Previous video, we actually built out get hint. And in this video, we're going to build out decompress words by number. Let's look at what we built out on the previous video. Get hint. If I press on this. Hint. I have added this word up. What sound is this? Hint. I have added this word three. What sound is this? Hint. I have hint. I have added this word me. What hint. Hint. I have added this word watch. So there's two things. We have to work on decompress, so it adds the words back into it. It decompresses the data that we compressed, the lyrics. And also you can see the number's not going down. Well, we already wrote down the steps down here. So once we do decompress, both of these two things will be fixed. And the only thing we'll have left is to check if the user guesses the song right. Um, and we also have this speech recognizer, which we can do really quickly. So let's go ahead and focus on decompressing the lyrics. I want to go backwards though. So inside of update display, I'm going to get rid of this one because I still want to see behind the scenes so you can kind of see the word lookup values, what lyrics compressed looks like. I have added this word. What song is this? So here we go. Decompress lyric compressed. Update lyrics compressed. Show only a number compress our words with the hint word. So you can see what we're going to do. I said it added the word, well, let's just say. Hint. I have added this word that. What song is this? So for that, we want up here, the hint word value was that. It randomly picked that, right? So that, if we look in our little compressed lookup, that is number 11. Hint word value now is number 11, and it passes 11 to decompress word by number lookup. This is now pretty much equal to 11, which is the word for that. Now, lyrics compressed, which is this down here, we want to replace all the 11s with the hint word, which was that. So first, let's go, let's get lyrics compressed which again is just these numbers. We want to replace and inside of lyrics compressed, what do we want to replace? We want to replace the hint word number value with what? That. That was there. Well, that is the hint word. So hint word. So what this line of code says is this is our lyrics compressed down here, right? That is what they chose. We got the number 11, but inside of decompress, we're saying, hey, anywhere there's 11, press that. So it's going to press that there. 
just gonna press a that there. So now lyrics compressed would look like zero, one, all these numbers, that, one, two, three, four, blah, 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 10, seven, six, seven, that, one, two, three, four. That's what lyric compressed now would look like. Step two, create a local variable equal to lyrics compress so we don't, so we can update it without changing lyrics compress. So we don't want to change this, but we want to get a copy of this with the new word in it. That way we can replace all the other numbers with these blank spaces, and that's how we're going to decode it. So we're going to make another local variable. Pull in this, and let's just call it lyrics compressed with hint, right? And I'm going to make it equal. I'm going to make it equal to my lyrics compressed. So now lyrics compressed with hint is equal to this, but it has the hint word in it. It's exactly the same as lyrics compressed. Lyrics compre compressed only contains numbers. So for each number in the local variable, we're going to replace it with a blank. So we're going to use another for statement. We're going to use a different for statement this time. Thinking we're going to go through four statements and the next unit, big idea three, which is algorithms and programming. Before we used for each item, and when you can see when we compressed over here, we used a for each item in a list and we did, we changed item to word so you can kind of make it more readable. Now, since we know we have numbers, we have a word count of 11, we can go from 11 down to zero and kind of replace those numbers with blank spaces. So if I go to control, you can see I have for each number from number to number or for each item in list or for each key value in this. So I'm going to do this one and it's number. Now I could go, I know how many things I have in here because just like up here, the length of the compressed list, but the compressed count is also that value. So I can go from compressed word count. So these amount of words have been compressed and that should be equal to the, the highest number here. Here's the issue though. You don't want to go from 1 to 11. If you did that, if I go from 1 to 11, once I get to 1, it's going to replace all the 1s. But 11 has two 1s, so it will replace both of these, which would mess up the difference when I when I'm looking in here, one is they, eleven is that. So if I go from one to go up, my one would replace it would put a they they next to each other. It doesn't make sense. So you actually got to go backwards. So I'm gonna go from the biggest number down to one. So I'm gonna start at eleven and go backwards. That way. I won't mistakenly take 11 for two different ones. So this is this part. For each number in the new local variable, replace it with a blank. So we have this new lyrics compressed with hint, right? I'm going to mouse over that and I'm going to do a replace. And again, I'm going to replace that lyric with hint. What am I going to replace? The segment I'm looking for is whatever number it is, and what do I want to replace it with? I want to replace it with, remember we made this blank space. So what is this doing? So it's starting at 11, it's coming down. Is there an 11 in here? No, because it's been replaced with that. It's gonna to go to 10. Is there a 10 in here? It's gonna to come to 10, it's gonna replace it with one of these guys. It's gonna to go to nine, all the nines in here, it's gonna replace with all of these. What that does is it's gonna have that and all these other numbers are just gonna be blank spaces. So it's like decoding it by changing the one number first to whatever the word was, and all the other numbers is just gonna make it blank spaces. That's how we're decoding this here. Update lyrics to be the local variable. Very simple to do that. We have a global variable here called lyrics, and we're going to bring this in. We also need to remove the hint word from, since we're using that, that should not be in there anymore, right? So I'm gonna to go to my dictionary and I wanna remove entry from the dictionary. 
and I'll put that after and actually make sure you put lyrics after the for statement. So I have lyrics here and I'm going to remove them here. This is my dictionary words compressed lookup. The key I'm looking, the number, the key I'm removing is remember the hint word, which is that. So I'm going to just grab the hint word. So that is the five steps inside of here. Let me just add, this is step three. So since you know it's embedded, this is step three as well, replacing all the stuff. So this again is called up here and then it calls update display. This should work. Now remember I, I changed update display. I'm not showing the lyrics here. I'm going to enable this. So now if I press hint, what should happen is you should see something that looks like this, but what a, whatever word it's adding should show up where it is. So let's see. Hint. I have added this word settings. What song is this? Here's what we're, we're, here's what we're doing wrong. All right. So I'm starting at the biggest number and I'm going to one by one. So if I start at 11, I can't get to one by adding one because adding one would be 12, 13, 14. Here, I actually need to make this a negative. So whenever you're going down, if you're starting at a bigger number and going down, make sure you're going down by one, not up by one. So now if I hit this again. Hint. I have added this word bad. What song is this? So you can see it added bad. Let's do again. Hint. I have added this hint. I have added this word me. So this what is, song is this? This is God's plan. Hint. I have added this word wishing. Hint. I have added this word day. What song is this? So there's one thing I do not like. It's looking at it's giving the word compress count. The word compress count is not being updated. Instead of using this to be more accurate, let's just get how many words are actually left in our list. All right, so let's do a new song. I have added this word horse. What song is this? Hint. I have added this word old. Hint. I have added this word tell. What song is this? Hint. I have added this word till. What song is this? So there you go. This is the video on how to decompress and get a hint. Last part of this is just at the top. We need to check when the user actually types the name of the song and we will do that in the next video.